Hello, everybody. Today I'm here at the Disney Heroes Battle Mode, update 2.4.10. And today we're just looking at fear from inside out, of course. There's a hero refresh. I'm not going to talk about it here, but you can look at the patch notes yourself if you'd like to see that. Uh, did I say who it's for? It's for Dr. Facilier. Um, but anyways, here is fear. So we have now gotten all of the emotions from inside out. Now there are other characters from the uh, from the movie that we could get. We have Bing Bong. We have Jangles the Clown. There are other characters, uh, but I think those are the most likely other ones we could get. But honestly, this is probably all we're gonna get. If they do want to add a villain from it at some point, you know that would be Jangles the Clown. But it it feels like they're probably gonna be done after the emotions. I could be wrong, but Fear is most likely the final Inside Out character we're gonna get. But it, uh, at least, you know, we got out with a bang, and we did get all the five main emotions. Now, if you guys watched my prediction video, or the one that I was just saying which one I wanted to see from each series, Fear was the one I wanted the most, and also thought was the most likely. Now, he is the last one we got, but we did get him, so technically I was right and also got what I wanted. And Fear is probably my favorite out of all of them. I do like Anger a lot as well. But uh, I was really excited uh, when my when we got the data mine that fear was coming, and I I guess I expected it after we got discussed. I thought disgust was the least likely, and now that we got discussed, I knew that fear was coming. And I haven't actually looked. I would have to assume he has a um, status effect like all the other characters did, and they all kind of got leaked that way by seeing the status effects. But I don't think fear has gotten it in the game yet, so um, I haven't looked yet. But I assume there will be. I haven't even said if, what I think he looks like. I, I think he looks really good. I feel like he doesn't look as close to what the other Inside Out characters look like. Like, they all look more fuzzy, and he looks kind of like, um, like he, he just has skin. I don't know. I, I have a hard time explaining it. I think he looks good. I just think he doesn't look as cool as all the other Inside Out characters. Um, but anyways, he's a control hero, and he will be in the Diamond Crates. Now, I spent over a 1000 trying to get Disgust. Hopefully that trend does not continue, but it is possible that I will not get him. Um, just because, you know, if I end up spending all my diamond crates and I don't get him, that's just my luck, I guess, that I, don't, I won't get him. But I will try. Uh, I guess I'll just spend all of them until I get him. I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But going through his skills, the full-out panic in its passive state, instead of a basic attack, fear gets more anxious, getting stacks of dread, so is Dread the, the status effect? I'd have to assume so, right? Fear's also always scared, but grants himself an ally's armor per stack of Dread he has. Lastly, when Fear or an ally receive more than a percent of their max HP as damage in a single hit, Fear gains stacks of Dread. And then when it's active, he panics and flails through enemies, dealing damage and stunning enemies. Fear deals more damage and stuns enemies longer per, attack of dread he ha per stack of Dread he has. So he has a move where he kind of rushes through all the characters on stage. Um, and yeah, Dread seems to be his uh, status effect. The Dreadful Scream. Whenever Fear reaches a number of stacks of Dread, he releases a scream, dealing damage to all enemies and scaring them. After Fear uses Dreadful Scream, he removes a number of stacks of Dread. Um, you know how in the, the main menu, when characters kind of go through their animations, I can imagine this will be kind of like... Um, the Queen of Hearts, where he just ke keeps screaming over and over again, and it's really loud and long. That's what I'm imagining right now. I really hope it's not the case, because it does get very annoying. And the Queen of Hearts, I hate looking at her, because she always is making those loud noises, uh, either with like the music or her scream, or her laugh, I think it is. But that is an interesting way to give him a skill. I'm interested to see it in action, at least. The extra protection, Fear Toss the Helmet to a number of allies with the least HP, granting them a shield. Heroes with this shield cannot be disabled. So he's got a hockey helmet from, uh, shoot, I forget the girl's name from that movie, but the, the main girl's uh, helmet, it's Riley, that's right. Um, and I guess that's kind of a way to help keep your team alive. I guess he has a healing move, that's which is cool. Or I guess not healing, but a shielding move. Then the what was that? Fear and his allies take less damage from crits and super crits per stack of dread fear has. And then finally, look out. The first few disables that are blocked with a shield from extra protection are sent back at the enemy 
that attempted to apply them. Disables include charms, freezes, stuns, blinds, and silences. Fear and his allies are immune to freezes for the first few seconds of each wave. So going against someone like Elsa would be awesome with this red skill. And um, charms can definitely be helpful to deflect them. Is it only towards fear that he does this, or is this for all allies? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but if it is, that'd be really good to have with the team with like um, with the beast on it, I guess. I don't know. I could see that move being very helpful. His friendships are with Anger and Rex. Rex and him are both kind of scaredy cats, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's Rex's kind of main trait. And then Anger is just another uh, emotion that he's friends with that seems to be kind of a staple that each uh, emotion has at least one other emotion that he's friends with. But anyways, like I said, I'm not going to talk about Dr. Facilier's uh, refresh. And the bug fixes, are there are quite a bit, but they're pretty boring to talk about. So I'm just going to go to the new hero location and content adjustments. As we, said bef as we said before, fears in the diamond crates. And Kim Possible is now going to the elite campaign, which is a, a nicer way to get her now. She's much more available, I guess, than she was before. And this app, uh, this update is going into the app stores and uh, is for this Tuesday, obviously. So uh, we, we could get some more data mines for some future characters. I believe we only have one, yeah, we're, we only have one other character we know of for sure, so now would probably make the most sense to hear about more characters. Otherwise, I guess we might be getting some surprises in the future. But just talking about the updates in general, once again, I have to say how it's really sad that we're basically getting an update every week, but we're only getting one character in each update. And I honestly enjoy updates that are like a few weeks in between, and we get multiple characters. So much more than this. And I feel like a good amount of people agree. I don't know. It's kind of nice to have continuous updates all the time. But um, I don't know. I really like getting multiple characters in an update, even if that means we have to wait a few weeks to get them. I don't know. Just getting an update and all that doing is adding a character and a few bug fixes, which I could just do without doing a patch notes, just feels so boring and unnecessary. Um, but I already said I'm really happy that Fear is coming and they're finishing out all the emotions. And I'm excited to try and get him on Tuesday. Hopefully it will not take too many diamond crates to get him. Um, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you on Tuesday when the update comes out. Goodbye.